Oof, hooey, was it a blast from the past revisiting this video. When I first uploaded this video back on my channel in 2019, which feels like such a lifetime ago because of all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, but I had absolutely no idea that it would eventually garner over 10,000 views. Let's clap it up, guys. Clap it up. It being one of the first videos on my channel, I just wasn't sure how it would be received, especially considering how I felt like I was the only one in the whole entire friggin' world that thought God of War didn't deserve the hype. But man, the amount of comments I got that described the exact same feeling of how they thought they were the only ones who thought God of War was overrated, whew, it was insane. So thank you guys so much, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that video. But uh, I figured it'd be a little fun to respond to some of the comments that the uh, the videos garnered over the past year. So I'm gonna be sorting by new here. We're gonna, I'm feeling a little dangerous. And uh, yeah, strap yourselves in boys. We're going in where no man should ever go. The YouTube comment section. All right, first things first, before I say anything else, we need to get this out of the way, okay? Kratos, 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 Kratos. Listen, Tales of Symphonia, there's a guy in that game. His name is Kratos. That's how it's pronounced. Played that game first. The name got stuck in my head and there was just no, there was no going back. It was over. Anybody named Kratos was Kratos to me. Now, the amount of people in the comment section that were just, that they lost their marbles about this shit. Understandably, understandably. Okay, but here's a comment where this guy's actually making a genuine point instead of just bitching like all these other comments. I probably dislike this game as much as you do, but I can't take some of your complaints seriously when you can't even pronounce the main character's name. You referenced past installments, have you always pronounced it wrong, and then I set him straight with the reply. Anyways, yes, I've always pronounced it wrong, and uh, no, that doesn't make my points invalid. Okay, now that we got the Kratos point out of the way, can we, can we stop? Can we stop with the com- Kr Kratos! This guy says Kratos. Listen, blame 2019 me for that. Okay, that was like my fourth video. The, the me now, there's no way I would make a mistake like that. Right, guys? Right. No wonder you have 337 subscribers talking like a little bitch who has a million followers. Oh, boy. Okay, correction here, buddy. 650 subscribers, whatever I'm at now. I don't even know. And uh, second of all, just because I have no subscribers doesn't make my points any less valid. This comment is just the stupidest thing I've ever read. The thing is, I feel like a lot of these comments are just attacking me personally, maybe the way I pronounced this name or my channel, rather than stating anything they actually liked about the game, or even countering my points with anything they could even come up with in their monkey brains. Oh shit, Big Boss has something to say. Alright, what you gotta say, Big Boss? You can't love anything because is already overrated. Oh wait, God is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is everything is overrated to an extent. I don't, you know what, I'm not even going to try and speak for this guy. This guy can't even speak for himself. How do you all seriously find this game boring? It makes no sense. Some of you clearly didn't even get to the first boss fight, LMAO. I guess you're entitled to your own opinion, but I far prefer the story-focused gameplay to a mindless, brain-dead hack and slash. Okay, so here's the problem with this, right? I got to the first boss fight. Clearly in the video, I talk about how the first boss fight is the best boss fight in the entire game, other than the final boss, of course. Then again, spoilers, uh, they're one and the same. And all the boss fights subsequently after that are just trolls. Literally the same copy-paste bosses throughout the entire rest of the game. People enjoy hating on things because they are beloved and have a fan base. Listen, I don't hate God of War. Do I think it's highly overrated? Yes. Do I think it's a terrible God of War game? Yes. And I mean, let's be honest, Kratos didn't even need to be in this game. They could have made it with entirely different characters and it would have made a lot more sense. And I bet you if they did that, this game would not have gotten Game of the Year. Honestly, that's another thing I wanted to point out. This game takes a lot of plot elements and character development from The Last of Us. Joel and Ellie, Kratos and Atreus, they're almost direct mirrors. Joel is Kratos, Ellie is Atreus, and both Joel and Kratos are learning how to become fathers again throughout their journey in their own respective games. With that being said, The Last of Us does a much better job of selling this storyline to me than God of War did. Now I don't want to get 
too into this because I want to make this respond in the comments, but there will be another video comparing The Last of Us and God of War to one another. So if you want to see that video, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Whew, this one is a doozy. Okay, you guys ready for this one? You know, I always say everyone is entitled to their own opinion, which is fair enough. Oh, thanks, man. But, oh God. The facts are always more important than the end, and the facts are eventually formed by the number of people that enjoy the game and the ones that hate the game. So one fact is millions of players enjoyed this game to the max compared to the ones that didn't, and receiving the Game of the Year award is proof that God of War 2018 was a magnificent game and definitely not a bad one at all. That's a fact. All right, whoa there, whoa there. This is a loaded, loaded comment. No, that's not a fact, because, you know, that is subjective, that is your opinion. And it's also not like the Game Awards have ever been wrong before, right guys? How do you actually make a 13 minute review where you say Kratos the whole time? Oh, this guy's on my side. Idiot, he pronounced it right, that's how his name- Yeah, get him, bro! Get his ass! I think this game is a little overrated, but I don't really care about any of these characters besides other flaws. For example, take FF7 Remake. How they fleshed out the characters, everyone is full of life, plus amazing combat, and many great bosses. Okay, whoa. Um, listen, I wouldn't say FF7 Remake did the best job. Um, a lot of the characters they fleshed out were kind of just... There was really no point to fleshing them out. It was just a bunch of padding. But uh, I will say, amazing combat, great bosses, I agree. Agree with that point. Does everything have to be overrated or underrated? This is a good question, actually. Obviously not. Not everything has to be overrated or underrated. But, I mean, when something gets Game of the Year, and it ends up just being a copy of, let's be honest, The Last of Us, just with a God of War skin plated all over it, I'm gonna say that's a little overrated. When all the mentally challenged people gather. Listen, says the guy with the Apex PFP and the Apex Gaming username, go back to playing Battle Royales, okay? <gasps> wow! Look, guys! Oh my god! I love this game, but this is your opinion, and I respect that. Oh my god. Oh my. Everybody clap. Everybody. Oh my god. This was hard to find, and I take it all back. Learn how to spell his name first. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Ooh, that guy's defending me again. Get him, bro. Get him. Did you fight any of the Valkyries? I responded. I told him the truth. I ain't lie. I said, listen, man, I tried, and they just looked so annoying to fight. If you guys fought some of the Valkyries, let me know down in the comments. But, ooh, man, they, I, I wasn't about to deal with it. And then this guy responded saying, then don't play video games. Now, this may be the most horrible response I've ever read in my life. I did not have the patience for X thing, then don't play video games. So therefore, what about the Dark Souls series? If I don't like Dark Souls, should I stop playing video games entirely? Because, you know, that game requires patience. Alex Chromie, you are a freaking dunderhead, trust me, I looked it up. A lot of people were also concerned with the fact that I made this video because I was somehow salty that Red Dead Redemption 2 didn't win Game of the Year award, when I haven't even played Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, anyway guys, I think that's enough YouTube comments for one day, my brain's a little, whew. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, like and subscribe, or I'm gonna go back to saying Kratos instead of Kratos.